What's going on, guys? We got to talk about Bitcoin today because Bitcoin is at a moment right now. And that moment is where we find out what we're really made of as investors. Now, uh, there's got to be a move to the upside. Otherwise, we are headed to the downside. We're going to look at the charts. Uh, I, I've maintained a lot of the different uh, mechanisms that we've had before, and we're just going to focus on one simple thing here, but it's probably the most important trend line uh, that we possibly have right now. And if that can break, then uh, we're going to start feeling, hopefully, a little bit better about the position. If it does not, well, then we're going to test and we're going to find out uh, whether or not we've reached the bottom or not, because uh, that bottom was 17,567, by the way. Now we're going to find out whether or not that's going to hold. So if we look at the chart, then you can see right here that this is where we are. We've had this, uh, we've had this sell down. We've had the Celsius move. We've uh, consolidated uh, at the bottom of that descending channel, that ascending channel that we we were really looking at for a long time. And as soon as we got to where we were testing the trend line here, then what we saw was a giant cascade coming down. Uh, this is the 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 Dow Jones tanking. This is when everything happened the other day. Uh, when Jerome Powell and the Fed uh, talked at the Jackson Hole Symposium. Now we're trading sideways just a little bit. And the point here is uh, we've got to make a decision on what's going to happen right here. So in the next few hours, this is probably where it's going to be the tail of the tape because there's two things that can happen right now. We're going to test this line. I'm sure that we're going to test the line because that's the way crypto works. But then something's going to happen here. Either we're going to make a break to the upside and we're going to forget about this and we're going to start using this as support in order to bounce up and to create a new trend line or we are going to end up cascading back down here. Now, there's an opportunity to consolidate right in this area here, but if that doesn't happen, then we've got a long way to fall here and we're talking about maybe 19,000 and it's a mental resistance at that point. Uh, but 19,000 is that next line uh, where we could start to see a little bit of support happen. Uh, and we go look at the four hours. Uh, but as you look down here, you'll start to see that some of these uh, break out at some pretty low numbers and tell us uh, a, a, a pretty scary story. So uh, 17,500 is our low right now. And that puts us at the uh, 17,560. So it looks like uh, that we might have a, quite a bit of a problem if we can't make that move and we can't get the breakout uh, that we're looking for in the next few hours. Now, uh, that's not to say that something crazy isn't going to happen. So it's crypto. So there's always the opportunity for something crazy uh, to happen. Now, the Dow overnights are starting to look uh, pretty good. And when you, the Dow overnight, uh, that's important starting to look pretty good in the pre-morning. Uh, in pre-morning, we're looking at 111 points. Now, it was trending around 230 until just a few moments ago. So there's it seems to be a quote-unquote bump in the road, but the first 30 minutes of the market tend to shake themselves just a little bit. Uh, then we'll find out what we're really going to do for the day. And if you've gotten the sense like I have that the the, the Dow Jones really wants to run then you're not alone because that Dow Jones does want to, to run. You know, the problem here is uh, fear and greed index uh, is showing a little bit of neutrality at this moment. So hopefully we're going to make a move, right? Um, stock price strength, extreme greed, uh, market momentum is extreme fear. So it's a mixed bag here. Uh, but at the end of this, at the end of all of this is what matters here. People want to earn. Now, one little problem is that the bond yields are 3.4% right now, uh, which is actually a pretty big number. So it, it's there's a lot of money that's been going into bond yield lately. And uh, that's exactly as the Fed has wanted. And that might make it just a little bit difficult for us to get on one of those big runs. But we're going to find out what happens in the next few hours as we see Bitcoin it could break out at any time. It could really break out at any time. All we need is a nice pump. And as you've seen here, uh, it is very easy for this market to pump Bitcoin when the time is right. And if the time is right, we're going to see it happen. And uh, then we'll see on the other side. Uh, now, that, of course, means 
Uh, Ethereum, everything else will break out. Ethereum is on its breakout trend line already uh, because of what's going on with the merge. I think September 19th is the date that we're getting now. Uh, but because that's happening, then we've fallen down below it. But we did test it a couple of times. If we start to move back to the upside and we break through here, uh, and we get up to the 1600, then we're starting to create a new trend line for Ethereum. And if we do that, then we're probably looking at um, Bitcoin coming along the way. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. My name's Bleaves. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Let's uh, let's hope that this thing breaks the way that it looks like it will, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll talk to you again soon.